Jinjin Chen never imagined she would be pursuing a science career in Australia. I think maybe the only impression for me on Australia is like the koala, kangaroos. But in 2018, the then third year university student signed up for the INSPIRE program at Melbourne's Walter and Eliza Hall Institute of Medical Research, also known as WEHI. She had no idea what she'd discover, but figured Australians would at least be welcoming. I think if people can get along well with animals, they should be friendly to also to humans, so that's my impression. After I've been here, I found people are even more friendly than my expectation. Inspire is a fully funded 10-week internship targeting some of Asia's most talented undergraduate science students. So for a lot of these students, it's their first time in the lab with everyday practicing scientists using the tools that we use, observing what our average day is like and the various skill sets that we need to have. The students stay with local families. Jin Jin says her host family helped ease anxiety she had during her first trip outside of China, particularly because she sometimes struggles to share personal concerns with classmates. But to someone who is elder, you won't think like this. You will think, okay, they should definitely provide some useful advice for me because this kind of situation they might experience in past. But Jin Jin's biggest surprise was the quality of medical research in Australia. The scientists at WeHi are considered to be among the world's best. Don't just like regard a country based on your imagination. If you really want to pursue some scientific study or scientific research, you won't regret if you choose Melbourne, you choose WeHi. It's not just the students who benefit. Weihai says INSPIRE allows the institute to engage with the next generation of scientists. We get the best students in the world coming to Weihai. They're seeking out opportunities to get research experience and they've got the, the courage and the motivation to do that in another country far from home. These are just amazing people to have in the lab. And some like Wang Zhao stay at Weihai long after their internship ends. Wang completed Inspire in 2017, but later returned to undertake his PhD on gastrointestinal disease. So basically what we are looking at is to look at how the cells talking to each other and how they react to the food we take in. They are different every day, how they can adapt to that. But Wang says his attraction to Melbourne isn't solely about work. He's become addicted to the city's coffee culture and considers the perfect brew to be a science in itself. Taste is very complicated. Sometimes you taste a lot, lot of like a fruity note. Sometimes you take a lot of like chocolate-like things. I find it's very complicated and very interesting. Wang hopes to stay working in Melbourne long after he completes his PhD. Around a quarter of those who take part in INSPIRE continue further studies and research at WEHI or elsewhere in Australia. I think regardless of the outcome, it's always a win for us. If they come back to us, that's fantastic. We get these excellent students back. If they move on, then they, they carry their experience, their ambassadors for WEHI and for Australia.